A new face. That's a rare occurrence. Welcome to the ever full flagon, friend. The ever full flagon has the finest mead. Don't drink the mead. Gamerth is dead. He was my daughter Nell Hilda's mate. Her true love. I suspect the contents of that letter will break her heart. If she's sober. You must try our special blend. Do you like to celebrate? Everyone here is always celebrating something. Nell Hilda and Gamerth were working to find a way to end this madness. Go upstairs and talk to Nell Hilda. She has a plan. Yes, indeed. Everything is fine here at the Flagon. Plenty of mead, plenty of happy Nords. Can you have another mead? Of course you can. Very well, ask what you will, but be quick about it. We don't want to attract any undue attention. I'm trying not to arouse any suspicion. The Thane is always watching, listening. We must put on a good show. The celebrating has been going on for a long, long time. Who would have thought that an endless supply of mead could become such a curse? The mead's in here, so no, not many. Besides, those creatures out there aren't very friendly, and some of them were once our friends and neighbors. One day, though, Gamerth had had enough. Even his love for my daughter couldn't keep him here. Haven't you ever seen the results of a Daedric bargain before? Now please, go upstairs and talk to my daughter Nell Hilda. She has a plan to save us all. And with your help, maybe this time it will even succeed. You're not one of the regulars here at the Flagon. I can do this. I can resist the mead. For my Gamerth. Father sent you. Good. I can use the help. The mead is enchanted. It muddles our minds and clouds our memories. But I may have found a way to purify the mead and stop the cravings it inspires. I need a rare magical flower, Kind's Tear, to make a potion. Unfortunately, the flowers are invisible. You need a kind runestone to see them. There may be a runestone at the nearby abandoned shrine. I knew Gamerth was gone, but this makes it so much more final. He worked so tirelessly to find a way to end this enchantment. I'm determined to finish what we started. Gamerth believed it had something to do with a Daedric prince and a bad bargain. If that's true, we never figured out who struck the deal. All I'm certain of is that the mead is delicious, and it never runs out, and drinking it has cost us our souls. Yes, we stay inside and drink. We have no souls. We were afraid to die in this godforsaken place. Nords without souls aren't welcome in Sovngarde, you know. The Thane does what he can to keep us happy. Usually by opening another cask of mead. I've been fighting the craving, trying to find a way to break the spell. I want to save my father and the villagers if I can. As for my father, he was always a strong man. The mead never seemed to affect him the way it got to the rest of us.
came back. I was afraid I'd imagined our earlier discussion. My mind plays tricks on me. Especially when the craving gets really bad. I wasn't sure any of the flowers survived the trip here. Cold Harbor is a dead place, and Kain is concerned with living things. If you found the flowers, maybe she hasn't abandoned us. I'll make the purifying potion now. I hope I remember the recipe correctly. It's been so long since I tried to do anything more complicated than downing a mug of mead in one gulp. One more thing. There. That should do it. Take the potion and pour it into the three casks. I need some mead. My Nelhilda would thank you if she could. Oh, this is all my fault. I was just trying to save my failing business. Now look at us. These people used to respect me. I used to help them. I made a bargain, but I was tricked. I realized too late that the mage who promised to help me was likely a Daedric prince. After that, the flagon slipped into Cold Harbor and we've been trapped here ever since. It used to be me that people turned to for help. When Hout showed promise, I bought him a loot. When Freedy won a contest, I gave her dueling daggers. Nelhilda has gotten things rolling with your help. I want to help her, help my friends. Hout and Freedy were admired in our village. If the enchantment is wearing off, they'll help me rally the others. It would help if Hout had his loot and Freedy had her silver daggers. We can continue what Nelhilda has begun. Talk to Hout and Freedy. Perhaps they remember where they hid the loot and daggers. I used to sing for thanes and kings. I danced around and had many fine things. How oh, about that? I made a rhyme. I've still got it. <laughs> You're a curious one. I imagine the Thane is keeping his eye on you. You want me to reveal a secret, huh? Secrets are a bard's trade, after all. There should be a price. <gasps> I know. A contest. A duel of words. If you win, amazing secrets will be told. <clears throat> oh, you're angry. <laughs> How positively adorable. When last I saw my beloved Lut, I played a song for the lovely Juelda. I struck a pose inspired by the statue outside her house, and I sang my heart out, let me tell you. Hmm? <laughs> she was suitably impressed. You look familiar. Were we flirting just a little while ago? I am a dangerous, dangerous woman. Even without my silver daggers, I could flay you. If you think you can threaten me, drink again. I mean, think again. 
If you want my daggers, you'll have to duel me for them. I am too dual to drunk. Did I ever tell you I once had a pair of silver dueling daggers given to me by... Who gave them to me? I should remember. He was such a nice man. I was brave and fast with my knives. You should have seen me duel. You'll find them? Aren't you sweet? Let me think. I remember the Thane said it was too dangerous to drink and do. He said I should destroy them, but I couldn't do it. So I hid them near the old mill. Please don't tell the Thane. You knocked down an old man. I've had just about enough of this. I think everyone needs a drink. How about some more mead? We don't want any more mead. Get out of here. <laughs> your souls are mine. Sure, you may as well old. drink up and accept We've your fate. We've been deceived. I want to hear you beg, or I'll cut off the supply of special blood. Let you go. What just happened here? Did you see? The villagers... Uh, they're starting to remember. The Thane threatened my daughter and I actually stood up to him. Of course, he knocked me down, but still... We're returning to our old selves. I'll return these to Hridi and Hout. Ask them to help keep people's spirits up. During my confrontation with the Thane, he said he holds our souls. He laughed at me, said how amusing it was to see me agonize over my friends as they waste away. I think he keeps the souls nearby. He always comes and goes as he pleases. If you could destroy the Thane, our souls might return to us. Then we could leave this place. I think his lair is in one of the nice houses near the old well. I appreciate your help. I need to make this right. For Nilhilda. For Gamerth. For my friends.
Oh, my aching head. I don't know what you did, but something changed. Everyone can feel it. Then the curse is broken at last. They'll hate me if they find out I caused the curse. Oh, we've lost so much. I need to make amends. But what would the truth bring us except more pain? My Nell Hilda mourns for her beloved Gamerth. I need to find a way to help her. Maybe you're right. Nell Hilda struggled to find the enchantment and she lost her beloved Gamerth. She deserves my honesty. I hope she can forgive me. Nell Hilda, please come here. What is it, father? I need to get this off my chest. I made the deal that doomed us. I made the bargain with the Daedric Prince. Father, why would you do such a thing? I lost my love to this cursed place because you weren't selling enough mead? How can I ever forgive you for this? I never want to see you again! Nell Hilda was the only thing that kept me sane in this dread place. What will I do now? I beg of you, daughter. Try to forgive me. What I did was a foolish mistake. I never imagined anyone else would be at risk. I don't know what to do. I'm so angry at him. And yet... My father is all I have left. Look what my father's selfishness has cost us! How could he have been so foolish? That's asking a lot of me. My father always seemed more... aware. I sometimes wondered if he knew more than he let on. But to have caused all of this suffering? My poor Gamerth. I know. I keep thinking about how kind he could be, always helping others. He did something terribly foolish, but I know he is not a bad man. I'll try to forgive him, but I do wish we could leave this place. We will go to the Hollow City. Some of the villagers may decide to stay here, where it's familiar, but that will be their choice. I grieve for the lost, but it's not in Anord's nature to just give up. Thank you for helping us. I think I can forgive you, Father. Though it may take time. For now, it's best if we leave this place. Oh, my dear girl. I will do everything in my power to make this up to you and to the others. Listen, everyone. We're going to the Hollow City. Join us! We're lords! And we can handle whatever Cold Harbor throws our way! Come, Father. We need to make plans to travel to the Hollow City. <laughs>